This is the one and only KB coming to you again with another guitar talk show review and demo. Let's get started. Now, this is the bass I was telling you about. Another different brand bass that you don't really think of when you think of Fender, uh, Ivan, there's all the other crazy companies out there that charge you triple the price of what you would get, you know, from brands that you don't know about. Now, a guy left a comment a month ago about why don't you do bases? Well, I don't have too many bases. Uh, the two bases that I have, one I'm actually going to sell pretty soon, and this is the other one that I, that I did decide to keep. Um, I actually got this base for a crackhead price. No lie, seriously. I mean, I mean, this is a a base that normally, if you find in the store, you're going to pay about you know close to 300 bucks because people don't really know the brand. The brand's been around for years. I'm talking about late 60s, but people just didn't really know too much about the brand because they kind of fell off as far as being sold in stores but they've been sold online lately and you know they're trying to make a comeback uh, this is an Arbor base a lot of you older guys out there know Arbor the name Arbor and they've been associated with some quality guitars they try to give you you know the same quality that you would get from other brands but for you know a, a lot less you know as far as what you're going to pay now this here is a premium model because it does have your standard precision and your uh, base uh, all in one. Uh, one tone, which if, if you're in the upper bottom, which is a, a swivel type, you can roll off uh, with one tone if you're in the upper, if, if you or if you're in the precision, or if you're in the normal base area. Beautiful blue paint job on this slim body. Um, has the artist type body that Ivan has and a lot of other countless companies try to make but they put their own twist to it you can as you can see um, rosewood neck high quality uh, let's say you can see on the side here the bridge is actually like I said there are two models of this also I always try to get the top the top models you know usually companies give you your base model then you give you a, a model that costs a little more I tried to get those, and this is another one. As you see, Arbor in the, on the headstock here. Uh, the tuners look like your standard large type tuners here in the back. They still have the uh, covers over the rear, as you can see. Uh, yes, it is glued on, but that really doesn't make a difference, as you can see there. The, the line where it's mine. That doesn't make a difference anymore. That's an old myth, an old story. So that right there has, has been debunked years ago. Um, <clears throat> trying to get my voice back. A little sick. So sorry if you hear it sounds nasty. Great bass. All the comments and the reviews and stuff on the different sites all give it a you know high score. Um, not much of a bass player, but I, you know, but I do not fiddle around and play around with it. Um, as far as looks, it's a beautiful bass. Now the saddles are of a higher quality than the standard model, and the standard model just doesn't have your standard uh, jazz bass there; it just has your precision. So this has the two-in-one version. Uh, the action could be a little lower, but uh, I'll take care of that. Um, Okay, just wanted to show you that. And another comment that I can't remember his name, but the Yamaha Pacifica series, of course, the famous Pacifica series. This is the beginner one, the start one. Remember, they start with the EG series, which is the 112, and they work their way all the way up to the as far as the Pacifica series goes, expensive, which would be about six, seven hundred bucks. Upgrade the knobs. I like it there with the chrome. The EGs are the same as all the others. The only difference between this, the V, and the other ones is the tip of the headstock here. Excuse me, not, not the tip right here, right here, right, right below as you see where the Yamaha symbol is there. That's a little different. Everything else, exactly the same. Don't let anyone else tell you that it's different. It's exactly the same. Pickups are, pickups can be different, though. Um, humbucker's the same in all of them, also. 
but the first two can be different. If you look at the pickups and they don't look staggered, the poles, and they're just flat across, you have a standard model. If they're staggered, then you have the uh, upgraded uh, version. Uh, this is the upgraded version. Now the difference is the wood, basswood, agathis were the two main uh, woods that were used. Uh, some of these had, had a Brazilian wood, but this is just wanted to you know show this one off real quick also. So thanks for the comments, guys. Uh, any more videos coming up pretty soon? I'll let you know in advance. All right, bye bye.